Hey guys, so first I'm going to start off with my Rock Line Perfecting Primer, and I'm just going to apply this all over my face. It's good for pores and lines. And um, now I'm going to go in with my Jordana Eyebrow Pencil, and this one's in medium brown, I think. Um, <clears throat> I just wanted to get my eyebrows kind of on there because I feel weird without them, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm just going to follow my natural shape. Um, Sarah's eyebrows in the movie are like way too big and I just could not bring myself to make those eyebrows, so sorry. Next, I'm going to go in with some foundation, and I believe I used the Estee Lauder Maximum Coverage Foundation. Um, I forgot the color, so I will list it below for you guys so you know exactly which color. I think it was light that I used, but I can't remember, so I will link it below for you. Um, next, I'm going to go in with the... NYX HD Concealer, and again, I don't know the color name, so every color is will be below for you guys. Um, I'm just going to do a little bit of highlighting with this. Um, her skin is a little pale in the movie, so I tried to make my skin a little lighter um, just so I could kind of, you know, kind of be more in character. And I'm just taking, this is the Ulta foundation brush, and I really, really have been liking this brush. Um, it works so good. I don't know, it's really good for um, foundation and concealer, so um, I really like it for stippling on um, foundations and concealers. Next, I'm going to take my Unique's Mineral Touch Powder, um, and I believe this is in Taffiata or Taffiat, and I'm just going <clears> to <throat> apply that with the sponge that came with it all over my face. It's a little bit too light for me, so I thought it'd be perfect for this look. Next, I'm taking my NYX Eyeshadow Base in ESB01, um, and this is just the white color, and I'm just going to apply that all over my lid for a good um, primer. And this really helps the um, shadow stay on better and it helps with creasing and everything like that. So the color payoff is um, a whole lot better if you use a primer. Next, I'm going to take um, Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek and I'm just going to take that on my MAC 217 and I'm just going to start putting that in my crease area and just kind of building up the color. Um, and I'm kind of doing it a little bit sloppy, but her makeup in the movie is a little bit, you know, sloppier, so I figured it would be fine. <clears throat> and if you notice, I'm bringing it more towards the inner part of my eye. Um, her makeup in the video or in the movie is she's got a lot of dark on her inner part, so that's what I'm doing. I'm bringing it over. Now I'm taking my Naked palette, and I'm taking the color Hustle, which is like a purple, purpley color. It's like a really dark purple. And I'm just going to put that on with my e.l.f. shadow brush, and I'm just patting it on. And you don't really want to, like, wipe it on, because um, you don't get as good of color payoff. And I'm just literally going to keep packing this on until I get the color that I want. Um, I'm also blending it in with that Cocoa Bear, just, um, just so there's no harsh lines or anything like that.
Okay, now I'm taking Urban Decay's Creep also in the Naked palette, and it's just like the really matte black color, and I'm just putting that on with an e.l.f. crease brush, and I'm just really trying to concentrate that on the outer part of my eye, and I'm blending it in to my crease um, just to add a little more um, depth to the color. And I also use this crease brush just, I mean, it also does a really good job of blending, so that's why I really like it. Um, I tried not to go above my crease too much because I really want to put that brownish orange color up there because um, she's got a little bit of an orange. Okay, now I'm taking Lorac Pro Palette, the deep purple color. And I'm just going to pat that on all over my lid. Um, it just adds a little bit of color definition um, so I totally got it too far over as you can see and I end up wiping that off because I hated it so much so it looks different in a second um, now I'm just taking a blending brush I didn't have anything on it and I'm just blending out that black now I'm going to go in with cocoa bear again and just go over the very top of that to kind of smoke out that very top part so it's not so harsh And I'm using the MAC 217 again for this. Now I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Contour um, Kit. And this is like the first time I've used it, but I really liked it. Um, it's more of a gray contour, so I thought it'd be really good for this tutorial. Because it's not so warm. We don't. I didn't really want a warm contour because she's so pale and... It just reminds me of Halloween, the gray contour. So, and um, now I'm going to go ahead and contour the size of my nose. Um, her nose is a little more defined than mine, so that's what I'm doing here. Now I'm going to take my Max um, Studio Fix powder, and I'm just using my It Cosmetics powder brush, and I'm just going to put that all over everything just to warm up my face a little bit. I felt like it was a little too pale, um, so that's what I'm doing here. I just figured it would just warm it up a little bit. Now I'm taking Laugh Out Loud by NYX, and this is just literally a orange matte color. Um, and I'm just going to put that on top of Cocoa Bear and the black up there um, just to smoke it out a little more and just add a little more uh, warmth to my eyes. And I believe I'm using the Echo Tools blending brush for this part because I didn't want to do black with the blending brush and then do a lighter color with it. Now I'm using my LA Girl Brow Kit, and this one's in medium brown, um, so I'm using the middle color. I felt like the black was just too much, so um, I just took the middle color, and I'm just going over the natural shape of my brows um, and just making them really dark because hers are, like, super dark in the movie. And I think I'm using the e.l.f. angle brush for this. I'm not sure how I feel about having these dark of brows, but make it work. Okay, so now I'm using my BH Cosmetics uh, 100 Shadows palette, and I'm using like the orangish red color, and I'm just using an e.l.f. shadow brush, and now kind of blending it out with that Echoes tool brush. Um, it just added a little more color to... Um, like my crease area and I'm just really smoking it out. I'm not going all the way up to my brow bone but literally I'm almost up to my brow bone. Now I'm taking black from the Lorac Pro palette and this is just a straight matte black. I'm taking a elf smudger brush and I'm just going to um, line my lower lash line with this and just really smoke it out. And I'm going all the way in. Normally I would not, but um, for this look, I'm definitely going all the way in because um, her eyes are really dark. Okay. 
Next, I'm taking my Hard Candy Drama Liner, and I don't know the exact name of this, but like I said, I'll link it below. And I'm just going to um, line my upper lash line, and I'm going all the way to the inner part as well. And I'm just making a really um, thin line. It's a little bit, I probably could have made it a little bit thicker, but I really liked it the way it was. And it just helps add a little bit more drama um, to the look. And now I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just looking at myself, trying to figure out what to do next. Now I'm taking my um, L'Oreal Falsies Push-Up Drama Mascara. And I just went ahead and put a coat of this on and before I applied my Falsies, just so um, my blonde lashes wouldn't be like showing up like crazy. Next, I'm taking my It Cosmetics. I think this is like my tight line liner, and I'm just going to put that in my lower water line. So it just really makes your eyes like real dark and smoky. Very witchy. <laughs> okay, so now I'm drawing on her famous, um, I call it a prep dot, but her famous dot and I'm using the Estee Lauder eyeliner pencil and this is in coffee it's just like a black brown and I figured black was too harsh so uh, this is like a really dark brown now I'm gonna apply my Ardell doubled up lashes and these are just like real fun and I figured they would look really good with this dark dramatic eye And then I decided I wanted to con contour some more, so I'm taking my Ulta Contour Kit, and I'm taking that really dark color, and I'm just going to um, contour some more. I'm sorry my lighting is not very good in this video. Um, my lights have not come in yet, so I was using natural light, and it, I waited too long in the evening, but I really wanted to get this done for you guys, so I do apologize for the lighting. Um, and I'm just going to frame my face with the the contour and just blend that out okay now I'm taking the Ben I um, powder and this is in cameo um, the banana is just too yellow for me so the cameo works really well it's just more like a white color and um, so I'm just going to use that just to highlight my face a little bit more and it also helps make it a little whiter so it goes along with the look and um, now I'm using it's an it's by NYX. I don't know the name again, um, but it's just a really blue red lipstick. And um, her lips are like really red, so I thought this color was perfect for this. Um, now I'm taking NYX Liquid Suede lipstick, and I'll get the name of it below. But this added just a little bit of extra drama to it, so. But yeah, that's the video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it, and thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye.